Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and we're playing Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, and I'm going to show you off a couple of mods that I've created. Uh, the first one is the School of Alchemy. I've always thought that uh, it was uh, awful tough to really level up uh, alchemy, alchemy and get access to rarer ingredients. Uh, and so, this is the school. Um, uh, now, this person just stays out here uh, waiting to sell you a membership to the school because this that, that door has a lock to it and you have to have a key to enter it. So he will sell you that membership, which consists of directions for how to get the uh, the key, because unfortunately it's hard to uh, hard to get merchants that will actually directly sell you a key. So he actually sells you the directions to get the key. Uh, and um, let's just go on in. Uh, first thing you notice here is a very extensive uh, alchemy garden. Very nice, very nice. Lots of insects for the taking. They, they may kind of bump you out of the way. Just grab them and that'll solve that problem. She's just a student. She's just hanging around being a student. This is a vendor. Need something? Take a look. As you see, she's, he's got quite a lot of uh, different ingredients. Some of what I, which I put in there intentionally and some of which are just generic ingredients. All right, then. <clears throat> this right here is the Encyclopedia of Alchemy, which I wrote. So these are all books that I created. Uh, and uh, each of them is a skill book. So if you open them up. Um, they are written from uh, the point of view of someone with extensive but not omniscient knowledge. So they don't tell you the, the um, effects of every ingredient, or every effect of, every, of, of the ingredients. But they uh, do, do show you um, pretty much the direction to go with that ingredient. Um, you know, first it'll notice that this ingredient has a tonic effect on stamina, health, and one-handed weapon skills. So, you know, that, in that case, it's pretty much telling you everything you need to know about that ingredient. So anyway, there's, um, uh, these five, uh, basically encyclopedia of issues of the volumes of the encyclopedia of, uh, of alchemy, uh, for every ingredient that exists in Skyrim. So, even the, the very rare ones, they have some sort of entry in here. They may not be a complete entry, but they do have an entry. Uh, so that's that. Uh, over here we have um, uh, cabinets full of uh, alchemy ingredients. They're empty because I've already gone through them. Um, those are all free for the taking. Uh, all the, the plants here you can How pick can uh, as you wish. There are uh, mushrooms and such along the side. All these are, have normally have ingredients on them. These two in the middle are locked. Um, you're not supposed to get them, but you know if you want to steal from them, you certainly are entitled to. Or actually, you're not entitled to, but you can. Uh, and more ingredients over here. Speak quickly. This is the headmistress of the school. Need something? And she'll also sell you uh, ingredi uh, ingredients. And uh, <coughs> uh, she, these two, and uh, the uh, Khajiit have different. Uh, inventory uh, boxes so it's actually like the twice twice what a normal alchemy merchant would uh, would have so until next time she's actually a uh, alchemy huh? trainer i think i can teach you a thing or two okay i i yeah she's kind of a surly individual need something and that's this the School of Alchemy. They have plenty of alchemy tables and one enchanting table. Uh, see if any other. There are a few uh, relatively rare books right here, and also in the cabinets. Uh, the some of the ingredients are picked through already because I've already gone through here. All right, on to the next mod. And you see, standing right next to it, is this little shack. The staff shop. Take a screenshot right quick, because I actually don't have a uh, screenshot for this. Uh, if you speak to her, need something, take a look. 
Uh, she sells um, uh, already enchanted staffs of various sort. She also sells unenchanted staffs. Uh, you may have noticed over to the side, uh, the corner of the, the room, there is a staff enchanter. Um, what she doesn't sell is she doesn't sell hearthstones. Until next time. Let me go over here and try to enchant a staff. You see that um, uh, you can do staffs for all the different kinds of things that you um, that you uh, spells that you already know, but you need hearthstones. And she doesn't sell star art stones. The reason for that is uh, that I found out that if you go in here as a as a low level character, you will you will somehow I don't know. And this is part of the game. It's nothing I did. Somehow you would like level up straight to level sixty in in um, enchanting for some reason. Um, so um, uh, I don't didn't sell heart stones because I want players to go ahead and um, uh, get them in soul time. I figure they they probably. Uh, if they're able to go to Soul's time, they'll, they're high enough level that they're going to, you know, be uh, ready to use that. There is actually a Hearthstone in this building, uh, but it uh, but it's under a master lock, and it's uh, stealing. Uh, so if you want to, if you've got a low level character who's not been to Soul's team Soul Stein before, and you want to go ahead and just make a staff, uh, there is a Hearthstone in here, but um, it's under a master lock, and taking it will be considered stealing. So take your chances. There's also a Shrine of Julianos for the mages. Um, uh, both of those mo these mods were really designed with mages in mind because uh, mages kind of have a, a hard road in, um, in Skyrim. Uh, it's not easy being a pure mage. Um, this character here, um, this is Nightshade. And she's uh, kind of a uh, two-handed slash uh, and she, alchemy slash... Uh, mage type character, which is rather bizarre, but I um, mean, you know, I tend to like to, to explore different uh, different options, and uh, so that's what she is. She used a two-handed sword, but she um, uh, she uses poisons and stuff. That's why I call her Na Nightshade, as she uses poisons, uh, and um, and uh, so that's that's her. Anyway, these are my two mods that I created: uh, the School of Alchemy here. And the staff shop. Now the staff shop is not uh, actually uh, up on Bethesda.net as of yet. Uh, I'll probably upload it before the end of the day. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video first uh, because um, uh, I wanted to have it available to uh, to to put with the uh, mod when I actually put it up, up put it up uh, on Bethesda.net. So these are my mods. These are actually these are actually my second and third mods. Um, my first mod is just my, for my own private use. I had a character that was a vampire, and he didn't want to be ambushed, so I made him a little player house inside of a mountain. Uh, so I'm still still learning. I'm still a beginner, but um, these are my mods. Uh, this the uh, the school of alchemy and the staff shop. All right, that's all for right now. Until next time, hasta la vista, adios.